Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. We own all the vehicles in our building. They are not on consignment. If you are watching us today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. That is hanksters.com. It's where you can find all the still photos of our vehicles and this video presentation we're doing for you right now. If you go to our website and you can no longer find this car, it's because it's no longer available. When they're funded in full, they come down. However, on YouTube, we leave our videos up at all times for our subscribers to watch. Uh, we have many new customers coming to us that like to check us out on YouTube, and then we have customers that have bought multiple cars from us that like to watch what kind of uh, quality and quantity of unit runs through our showroom uh, year after year. So we leave them up. Instagram, you can check us out there. Um, new arrivals coming up to our website will be posted on there. And also, um, we, we do have a gift shop where you can actually uh, check out the items we have in our gift shop and other automotive related material to the Daytona area and uh, throughout the United States. The last couple cars um, that we had this, this model have done very well for us. Um, and if you're asking what model, the model is a Buick Riviera. This one happens to be a 1964. Uh, the motor is a 425 nail head in the car. Um, it does have power brakes. It does have a cowl tag. So you will see that in the still photos. Um, it also has power steering. No AC, uh, no air conditioning in this car. So putting down the hood, you're going to see that the car is black in color. And what's even cooler is the interior silver. The car is absolutely beautiful. Um, the Riviera has just such a great look to it and this one is no exception. Um, the quality of the paint throughout the car is a uh, driver quality paint job. Um, I have some receipts that I'm going to show you here in just a little bit. Um, a lot of them are dated in 2016. I don't have any receipts for a motor rebuild or a tranny rebuild but uh, do have some extensive body shop uh, bills as well as some photographs. So the paint on the car, um, again, driver quality paint. Black cars, especially cars this big, show paint flaws. This one has uh, little to none. I cannot see any blistering, cracking, fading, peeling, none of that. Um, but we'll, we'll continue to do the walk around on the car. Front fender's nice and straight. Again, uh, no scratches on the top of the fender, no uh, paint blisters low, bubbling, cracking, anything like that. Uh, you do have four radial t white wall radial tires um, on each corner of the car. Riviera there on the uh, driver's side front fender. Do have a uh, chrome mirror mounted on the driver's side door. Um, no mirror on the passenger side of this vehicle. Huge wiper arms on the car to sweep that huge uh, Riviera windshield. Drip rail moldings on the car are in nice condition. Same thing with the window glass. Riviera has a big door, huge door. Uh, this door is nice and straight. And the body lines uniform from top to bottom, both on the uh, front and the rear of the door lining up to the front fender and then to the rear quarter. And then of course, check out the door. There's no waves, there's no ripples, and you'll see here on a little bit from the photos why. Check out that interior. What a cool color combination, right? A black car with silver interior. Black and silver is uh, quite the color combination. Um, the interior in this car happens to be uh, immaculate. Um, your four uh, bucket seats there are, I, I do not see any areas of wear, tear, um, discoloration, nothing. Uh, huge, expensive uh, Riviera, you know, floor mat. These are the Lloyd mats you can see right there. These are the uh, nice ones. You know, they run probably about 150 bucks a set. They're not the cheap ones. Um, the steering wheel uh, does appear to be original to me. You can see it does have some cracks in the steering wheel. Uh, Riviera steering wheel is a great looking wheel. Um, and what a great looking center console, right? It's got that like spaceship type look, um, automatic car. You can see uh, your courtesy light above the glove compartment illuminates uh, since we have the driver's side door open. And the same thing with the two uh, lights illuminating there down into the floor um, coming from the center console. You do have seat belts in the front, uh, no seat belts in the rear, but you do have your uh, Riviera, the R 
uh, Riviera sign there designation in the uh, center of the two uh, seats in the back. And then, uh, of course, your, your seats in the front, four bucket seats in the car. Nice, nice looking car on the inside. Both doors open and close with ease, and they close flush. Um, as we shoot down the side of this long automobile, you'll be able to see, hopefully, that you know the rear quarter, the driver's door, and the uh, driver's side front fender are all laser straight. I don't generally use that term a lot, laser straight, because you know they're old cars. But I mean, this, the body lines on this car are absolutely fantastic. Big deck lid on the car as well. Um, so your uh, gaps on your deck lid are not only uniform, but uh, the deck lid fits nice and flush to the tops of the rear quarters. Again, your Riviera logo there in the brake lights, and then your Riviera designation on the uh, deck lid. Reverse lights down low next to our sweet Hangster's plate. Pop the trunk. Inside the cardboard, there are brand new, not even opened or touched, um, trunk boards from Classic Industries. So uh, there is a Buick mat in there, just a rubber mat. You can see that there are no um, holes in the trunk or anything like that. We'll take a still photo of this. That's the original window sticker. Car was purchased in Morrisville, PA. Uh, $4,694.97. Restoration paperwork. Do have some photos. Like I told you, see, no bondo in those doors. That means they're all metal. That's why they're straight. Show you painting the door jams, the inside of the door. Let's see if we can find the chrome. Seats, obviously they were reupholstered at one time. Looks like a finished product. I'm not gonna go through every single last picture, but you guys kind of get the idea. These will come with the vehicle. Um, this bag of documentation will also come with the vehicle. Again, there's some miscellaneous receipts in there for some things that uh, the customer that had the restoration done had some contracted. I looked for engine receipts, training receipts. I didn't see anything of that nature. Um, there's also some like Riviera books in there, some different articles from Hemmings Motor News on, on Rivieras and whatnot. So all that will come with the car. Body lines down the passenger side. You just saw it in the rough. Uh, you just saw that the door is all metal, um, so that's why the lines on this car are so straight because whoever was doing the restoration took the time to do it correctly. And when you do it correctly, it stands the test of time and, and lasts. So, um, passenger side door, let's look into that. Uh, door panel, you have a, there's a small little tear there in the top. Um, armrest is good, carpeting on the lower section is good. Uh, you got your Bu Buick designation there in the uh, center of the door panel. Again, your Riviera mats, your silver vinyl interior. Uh, Riviera on the dashboard. We'll take a closer look at the interior uh, when we're actually in the vehicle doing the test drive. We'll, we'll take a look. Uh, good look in there. But again, notice on the passenger side how you have uh, your door gaps uniform from top of the door to the bottom of the door both on the front of the door and the rear of the door. And then of course, I don't know if you can see because there's that lip on the door there, but you know, your, your door lines up nice and flush to the bottom of the uh, rocker there and then to, the, of course, the rear quarter itself. The Riviera logo in the uh, passenger side front fender. Again, the uh, fender itself is nice and straight, top, bottom. The uh, body line down the side of the car is all uniform. Cool little, uh, tiny little Riviera hood ornament there. We don't, you know, hood ornaments are obviously a thing of the past, but, uh, you know, a couple cars still have them, I guess, but uh, every car used to have them, and that one's one of the smaller ones that you'll see, but uh, cool, cool stuff. In the background uh, where we shoot our videos is the showroom for our Daytona Beach location um, where we house 
anywhere from 60 to 70 cars. We're down a little bit right now because, you know, the, the, the hobby, um, the collection, you know, classic car, muscle car collection um, circuit is up just through the roof right now. Everybody's trying to buy them or, you know, acquire them. People are building car collections, making investments. So, um, you know, we buy quality cars. Um, so, you know, we got to look at a hundred to buy five. So it's very time consuming, but um, we own all of our cars. Um, you are standing, you know, in our showroom here in Daytona Beach. All of our vehicles are kept inside. We don't keep any outside. If you are looking at this Riviera, especially if you are a first time classic car buyer, we invite you to come in person. We'll gladly show you our business operation here in Daytona. We're about five miles from the Speedway. We get many, many, many visitors to our showroom um, throughout each week, month and year. Uh, we'd be happy if you were one of them and, and take a car home with you or let us ship a car to you wherever you might be in the United States or in the world. Um, you know, you can pull the car outside, you can take a look at the paint, interior, under hood, um, crawl around in the trunk. We'll rack it for you. You can gladly look at the floor pans, um, exhaust, oil pan, tranny pan. We'll let you drive it. Um, nobody is a better judge of how to spend your hard earned dollar than you are. Um, so don't just take my word for it. We really invite you and encourage you to come in person when you're buying a vehicle from us. With that being said, um, most of the business we do is done sight unseen. The reason for that is we've been doing this a long time. Um, we are very familiar with classic cars. We know how to buy them. Um, we know how to service them. We know how to sell them. Uh, we know the popular year makes and models that, that move. So um, we do a lot of sight unseen business and we make a lot of people happy. We've been doing it a long time. Um, our PA location has been there for close to 20 years doing this, and uh, we've been here in Daytona Beach um, over five now doing it here as well. So we sell a lot of cars per month, and we deliver them throughout the, uh, throughout the world. Let's take this 64 Riviera out on the uh, rack. Uh, we'll rack it and we'll throw it in the air, take a look at what the undercarriage looks like, and then we'll take it out on the road. I haven't driven this car yet, so I'm curious as to uh, how it runs out. So let's go do that right now. Underneath our 1964 Buick Riviera. Huge drum brakes up front. Um, so you guys will ask me a lot of times through email and when we're on the phone and through text message if we paint the bottom of our cars. And the answer is yes, a lot of times we do. Not to hide anything, to make them look pretty. See this oil pan right here? It hasn't been painted. The rest of the car has. Um, we are gonna paint the oil pan. Nobody has the proper color. I have to custom order it um, from a Buick Restoration website. Um, so I wasn't gonna hold this beautiful car up from being presented because of a non-painted oil pan. So when you get the car, the oil pan will be painted all nice and pretty. Um, it's just not right now. So um, training pan, nice and dry. Speedo cable, nice and dry. Car's got the cool like X frame to it going on. That is um, all good. No rust holes, rod holes. It's all nice and solid throughout. By the way, um, numbers matching motor in this vehicle. So it is the original motor in the car. Floor pans, solid on both sides, driver's side and passenger side. You know, when you're looking at floor pans again, these floor pans have been painted, okay? Um, we did not paint them. We, this particular car, we touched up some areas, but uh, this is the way we got it. So um, when you're looking at a floor pan, this isn't undercoated. Um, they're not, uh, you know, pieced in, sectioned in. You don't see uh, seals here, gaps here. So there's nothing you can, this is just painted. There's nothing you can hide with paint. You're either going to see it or you're not. And these floor pans are nice and solid throughout the uh, entire car. Rear frame rails, check those out, going up over the rear end, continuing on all the way to the uh, bumper. All in good shape, all nice and solid. Real nice, solid car underneath here. Uh, you have your muffler here. Fuel tank's in good shape. Um, we showed you the uh, photos of the vehicle in the showroom earlier. Um, you can tell whoever did the restoration on this car took pride in what they were doing because you don't see any blue or green slimed in the doors or the rear quarters. It's all, uh, it's all gray and silver, which is indication of metal, and um, that's a good sign. 
If you cannot afford to pay cash for this 1965 Buick Riviera, we got three different collector car lenders we work with that'll lend you the money. They will ask for 10% down of the purchase price and then a remaining balance over the next five, seven, 10 years, um, whatever your approval is good for. Your approval is going to be based on your credit score, your debt to income ratio, um, time on the job, uh, time at your residence, things of that nature, a lot of different things underwriters look at, typical of a, of a normal car loan or a normal home loan. Um, if you decide, uh, or if you get approved for a 10-year term on this car and you decide you want to pay it off in two, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. There's no prepayment penalty. Um, a lot of people I deal with, you know, they have the ability to pay cash for the car, but they choose to finance it for a year or two and invest their money into something that might make them a little bit here or there, or whatever the reason is. Um, but if you are a cash buyer, it's kind of simple. Just wire us the uh, money and um, we'll turn around and prepare the car for shipment. So. Um, Let's set this 1964 Buick Riviera down on the ground and take it on a test drive and see how it runs out. Okay, inside our 64 Riviera, we have a horn. Um, the speedometer works, we'll show you that here in just a little bit. Uh, 10,408 for the mileage is not the actual miles. The uh, title reads exempt. We don't know the actual miles. Turn signals. The one on the driver's side does not work inside the cluster. It does work outside the car. If it's just a bulb, we will go ahead and fix it. If it's not, we will have to, uh, oh wait, oh, it is working. It's just really light. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really light. Um, passenger side, passenger side works too. Fuel gauge is working. Um, for your gauges, you have idiot lights, um, temp, amp, oil, and they do work. Wipers function. Radio does not. It is the original radio, and we don't mess with radios, so um, the radio is not going to work. Courtesy light illuminates when you press the little courtesy light button here. Um, like I said in the showroom, the center console is in good shape. The uh, vinyl is in great shape. Um, all around the radio and the instrument cluster is all in good condition. Really, really nice car. By the way, um, this car is not a one owner car, but it is a one family uh, car. Um, it was passed down from generation to generation. They finally sold it to us, uh, but it has been in one family since 1964. So let's take it out on a drive, see how it runs out. Just as I expected, the car runs absolutely fantastic, rides absolutely fantastic. These Buicks always have, they just are a really nice ride. Uh, let go of the wheel, the car tracks nice and straight, doesn't pull one direction or the other. You've got great response in the steering wheel. Um, there is no tire vibration whatsoever. There's no drivetrain vibration. You can see the steering wheel is not shaking. See if we put on the brakes here. Okay, no hands on the wheel. We're gonna put our hands on the brakes. Car stops perfectly straight. We do have a little bit of a bounce going on over here on our speedo. Um, it is functioning, but generally uh, that bounce means that you know it's worn a little bit or it's got to be lubed. So we'll take a look at that and see what's going on there. But um, car's running absolutely fantastic. It's a great looking car, great riding car. Automatic, so we'll go up here and we will uh, run it through the uh, gears real quick. I don't know, you know, the car shifts so nice and smooth and runs so nice and quietly. I don't know how much you'll be able to hear in the video, but at least we'll give it a little bit of gas here. Car has good acceleration too for as big as it is, you know. Runs fantastic. We're reading between 60 and 70 on the uh, speedometer and we're probably doing about 50. So here we are 50 miles an hour down the road. It rides like a brand new car. This is a great cruiser for somebody. If you just want to get in and go to the car show or have a nice weekend cruiser, it's, it is a great looking car. It is a great riding car, um, and it's a great conversation piece 
Um, you know, you see a ton of Camaros, you see a ton of Chevelles, you see a ton of Novas. They're the muscle cars, you know, they're really popular. They always have been. Um, you know, when you see a Riviera riding down the road, it's like, it's just classy. It's a classy automobile, in my opinion. It's, it's a great looking car, so. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hankstress.com is our website. We're going to put probably 100 photos of this car up today because we have some documentation to photograph. At full retail price, this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a 12-month, 12,000-mile powertrain warranty. Powertrain is internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. If you have a oil pan gasket leak, it's not going to cover that. If you have a valve cover gasket leak, it's not going to cover that. If the tranny pan is leaking, it's not going to cover that. It's not going to cover brakes, starters, batteries, alternators. I think you get the idea. Um, it's major mechanical breakdowns of the drivetrain. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. And um, you have a $100 deductible, and then the warranty kicks in on a uh, covered repair. The price of the car is definitely negotiable, um, but at a negotiated price, the warranty comes off. And then, of course, um, your shipping. If you want to uh, pick the car up yourself on a trailer, you can do that. If you want to arrange your own shipping, if you have a carrier you're comfortable using, you can certainly do that. Um, and then if you're local to us here in Florida, you can certainly come pick up the car and drive the car home. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. Hanksters.com. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.